In today's video, I'll answer your question, how can I be filled with the Holy Spirit? Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. An important verse in understanding the filling of the Holy Spirit is John chapter 14, verse 16, where Jesus promised the Spirit would indwell believers and that the indwelling would be permanent. It is important to distinguish the indwelling from the filling of the Spirit. The permanent indwelling of the Spirit is not for a select few believers, but for all believers. There are a number of references in Scripture that support this conclusion. First, the Holy Spirit is a gift given to all believers in Jesus without exception, and no conditions are placed upon this gift except faith in Christ, John chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. Second, the Holy Spirit is given at the moment of salvation, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 2 emphasizes this same truth, saying that the sealing and indwelling of the Spirit took place at the time of believing. Third, the Holy Spirit indwells believers permanently. The Holy Spirit is given to believers as a down payment or verification of their future glorification in Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. This is in contrast to the filling of the Spirit, referred to in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. We should be so completely yielded to the Holy Spirit that He can possess us fully and, in that sense, fill us. Romans chapter 8, verse 9, and Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 through 14 states that He dwells within every believer, but He can be grieved, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, and His activity within us can be quenched, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19. When we allow this to happen, we do not experience the fullness of the Spirit's working and His power in and through us. To be filled with the Spirit implies freedom for Him to occupy every part of our lives, guiding and controlling us. Then His power can be exerted through us so that what we do is fruitful to God. The filling of the Spirit does not apply to outward acts alone. It also applies to the innermost thoughts and motives of our actions. Psalm chapter 19, verse 14 says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Sin is what hinders the filling of the Holy Spirit, and obedience to God is how the filling of the Spirit is maintained. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 commands that we be filled with the Spirit. However, it is not praying for the filling of the Holy Spirit that accomplishes the filling. Only our obedience to God's commands allows the Spirit freedom to work within us. Because we are still infected with sin, it is impossible to be filled with the Spirit all of the time. When we sin, we should immediately confess it to God and renew our commitment to being Spirit-filled and Spirit-led. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related to questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.